Hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video I am taking a look at a very bizarre and very addictive game uh, and it's called Thomas Was Alone. Now this is available on the PlayStation Vita, um, it is also available on the Nintendo Switch um, but I think there are some other platforms that it's on as well uh, and it's it's a bizarre kind of platform stroke puzzle game and uh, the footage you see behind is me actually playing the game and once you start to see what's going on you'll realize why it is such an odd little game and it is extremely addictive so this little red character here with the arrow above him is called Thomas and the aim of each level is to get Thomas to the to the end which is the little rectangle that you saw at the start so this is now level two and it's got a bit more complicated. Uh, the first few levels are just sort of working out how Thomas can move. And it, it's pretty simple. You just slide him left and right and uh, he can jump. And it is just to get Thomas to the end of each level. And we are about to get to the end of this level. So it's, it, there's no fall damage. So you can fall as, as far as you like. And then there you go. That is the end of that level. So you've probably sort of gathered just how this game works. Um, and, and it is, is really bizarre and really addictive. If you've not played it, I, I suggest you, you, you go and give it a go. Like I said, it's available on the PlayStation Vita. Um, it is also available on the Switch. I know there is a demo for this in the Switch store, so you can uh, go and try it for free. And each level starts to get a little bit more complicated and there are more things to think about. Uh, the actual story behind it is shown sort of each level. There's a little bit of caption there that um, is, is voiced in this very sort of bizarre, almost little big planet style voicing. Uh, and it, it gives you a backstory as to what this little red rectangle is uh, supposed to be doing and how he's feeling yes he's a rectangle and he's got feelings um and it's it is a fantastic game so what we're we up to now we're up to level five um as you can see each level gets a little bit more complicated uh thomas is getting a bit more worried about the environments and how they're sort of changing and it, it, it's all especially sort of the first few levels um, it's all about teaching you how to play the game and what Thomas is actually capable of. Um, and that is it. So now we're at level six. So Thomas starts at the bottom of this level and you've got to get him up, which is a fairly easy thing to do. And we will watch the end of this level. Uh, and then I'm going to skip ahead to some of the more complicated levels so that you can see just uh, what actually goes into uh, playing this a little bit further on. So that is the end of that level. So now things start to get a little bit more interesting. We're on level 1.1 and as you can see uh, there are two little rectangles and we've got Thomas and then we've got the orange one which is called Christopher and there starts to be a little bit of a uh, animosity between the two um the the object of these levels is to get both of the characters across and you'll see that that they have they have different abilities so you, you kind of have to use each person with in conjunction so this is chris he cannot jump as far or as high as uh, thomas and there will be points where he gets stuck like here. And then you realise that you've got to use Thomas to help him jump. And, and that is where this game really starts to come into its own. Because at later levels there are numerous characters. Different shapes and different rectangles with different abilities. That you use to help each other. Um, and it, it, it becomes quite puzzly. Um, because you'll see here, like, um, do, do, do. so Chris cannot get up that ledge he's got there. So he's got to jump on top of Thomas, and then Thomas can carry across uh, to where he's got to go. 
which is there. Uh, and then you can carry on with Chris uh, moving him down to his end goal. Um, and this, this is really where the game starts to take shape and you realise that it's more than just moving Thomas around. Um, there are different characters with different abilities. Um, they can all jump, I think, well, as far as I know, as far as I've gotten in the game. Um, but some of them are just a little different. So you've got here we've got Chris and Thomas again on the screen. Now, Thomas is too tall to fit under there. So Chris needs to go down to hit the switch. Um, but then you can find that Chris can't actually jump up. So he's got to then jump on Thomas. Uh, you can then take Thomas up and then Chris jumps on the top of him. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, so you kind of get to see just how this game works. And when you've got three or four different characters, they all need to use their own special abilities to to help each other out. And it is a fantastically simple game, but also um, just... A, a, a really awesome game to play. So you can see here, Chris cannot jump up to that ledge. Uh, I don't think Thomas can jump up that ledge by himself. Um, but if Thomas then jumps on Chris, he can reach the ledge and hit the switch. So this is Thomas was alone. Uh, I think I've gotten to about level 3.7. Uh, they do get extremely complicated. You can find yourself getting all the way through a level and then realising you've done it the wrong way. Um, and you've got to go back or restart the level. Here we go again. Look, this is a, this is Chris not being able to, to jump up that ledge. So he needed Thomas to help him to get back up. So a very interesting game. Not one I'd heard of. It came out, um, I think, around 2012. So... It's been out for quite some time. It has been recently re-released on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the gameplay you're seeing here is from the PlayStation Vita, but I can't really see that it's much different. Uh, and the levels can be quite big. And, well, there really isn't much more to say. It is a fantastic game, which I have to say, as you know, I'm not massively great at games, so I do have a tendency to get stuck. And at about level 3.7, uh, I just haven't worked out what I'm supposed to be doing. So there you go. That is uh, Thomas Was Alone. Um, if you're into sort of niche, puzzly, platformy type things, this is fantastic. Um, and if you're not, just give it a go. It is a, a very intriguing, very clever game. Um and it, yeah, so that's Thomas was alone. Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.